migraine bedtime. Alright, see you later, Spider Lux. Alrighty, boys, so I'm gonna be teaching you everything there is to know about Kane. The blue Kane, that is. Uh, we're up against a Belvath, Kaisa, MF, Lux, Klen. So, nothing too much to be worried about. The damage reduction is pretty tough with uh, Belvath's W. I'll try and give you guys the uh, rundown on how you can uh, map this out in your brain. Read this out. So. I definitely think pathing for bot or mid ganks is super important here. The thing is, is that we don't really have any setup bot lane. Janna's one of those champions that makes it so there's anti setup. Like she's good at stopping plays, and she's also not really good at making plays on her own. So one of those champions, play stopper, not a playmaker. So that being said, I mean I'm probably just gonna do a full clear. There's really only two clears right now that you need to do as a Kane main. They're both very good. So if you're gonna go for a farm heavy clear, which I to do a lot. If you're gonna start Raptors, and if you're gonna go for an early gank clear, you're also gonna start Raptors. So it's, it's actually very uh, simple right now. Nothing, nothing uh, too intense, nothing too crazy. Because if you're gonna go for an early gank, you would start Raptors, Red, Krugs, look for the bot gank, nothing's there. You go for the reset, farm Wolves, Grom, Blue, Scuttle, look for gank mid, and then clear your bot side, look for another gank bot. That's how the early gank path would go. And I'm not gonna be doing that this game, so I could just show you the uh, full clear path is going to go. I'll try to explain kind of why you do it. The, the strengths, perks of it. So. Both might be starting blue because mine's not showing yet. The leash I can kind of show you. So the reason why you skip out on the red here and you go straight to the Krugs is because you want to reset the camps so they're right after each other. So normally, you farm Raptors, red, Krugs, you're going to have to wait. Because when I go to uh, kill the Raptors and Krugs on spawn, you'd have to wait in between the time of... Uh, Okay, I did. I do Raptors. Now I wait for the, you know, red timer and then Krugs. But if you just go red, our Raptors Krugs, then pretty easy, pretty simple. And we're gonna be able to find out if Belveth started bot or top side. I'm pretty sure she started bot side because notice how that ward right there gives us full confirmation. I can also hover over the bot lane with our entering lane and kind of see their mana and HP if they use any. Dead giveaway, but I just want to show the vision. Oh, notice how she didn't show on those Raptors. It means that she's pathing up, so she's actually. Doing a full clear upwards. Well, maybe a full clear, maybe an early gank. I'll ping out right here just in case. But that is a from heavy Belveth. So same thing with Raptors and Krugs. You're actually gonna do the same with Wolves and Grom. Skip the blue. Recommend you guys all uh start doing this path. It's the best path in the game. I made a video on it a while back. I actually got it from EU. I had an EU and it it works like a charm, it's phenomenal. Oh good stuff I'm just gonna pop my pop probably gonna ping out where Belveth is she's full clearing up she should be on red or Krugs depending on how fast she was we also have a ward right there so we're pretty safe so usually after this camp I like to kill by queuing in the wall like that see Belveth 16 CS so didn't farm two camps two camp lead on her right here normally i put a ward right there but because she's right here i'm just gonna look to put it right there and you could actually manipulate the direction scuttle goes into if you stand directly in front of it it turns and if you stand directly behind it it kind of pushes it along so if you're ever in a scuttle situation that's i think that's something every jungler should know it's very important so she has to go for the bot scuttle right now to not get punished and she's not going for the bot scuttle so i can get double scuttle and i can go for a big tank not sure if i get this off though or an orb if she won't auto me your path and going against the best Hecarim world. Path. I, I assume you mean Dauntess. Yeah, I, I, I did the same path that he does. Really just a shootout. Play against someone who's really good and you have like the same things in mind. It's like more micro plays that you're kind of making in your head. Right now, I'm in a pretty good angle to gank. But this how Lux like immediately backed up as soon as I walked up, so. I had to sidestep that real quick. Yeah, this is what you call a pressure gank. It actually worked out phenomenally. I'm surprised. We got her uh, flash and heal there. So taking her sums away, next time I'm bot, it'll be easy gang. And I'm just gonna clear my bot side camps. So sometimes, usually you just wanna clear your bot side camps and then reset, but you always wanna look for ganks. Over overextended, like you see how there's this giant terrain here and here. Never push past that terrain. It's a dead giveaway that it's gankable. So, a little food for thought for my junglers. Okay. And there's Belveth. So yeah, the whole premise of this path is to get a CS advantage, XP advantage, and then what you can do with that 
XP and CS advantage, you can also get a big first reset. So you pretty much always guarantee a 1100 gold reset, which is either Serrated Dirk or Iron Spike Whip, depending if you're going red or blue. Normally you'd get your Sweeper, but I, I think into a lot of junglers in this meta, just want to always make sure that you keep an eyes on them. Notice I didn't use E here, by the way. I hold my E until over here. That way I can just make it over to Thomas Land, the Wolves. That way I have my Q up. Because normally, if you use your E early, you have to Q over this wall. I lose you a couple times. Everything's all about time efficiency. Okay. Oh. Eyes on top mid. Most most importantly, I want to keep my mind on bot lane. So this is why kind of I hover over with my function keys to see the wave. So if this shoves into the tower, it'll crash and it will bounce back, which will make it gankable. So in around 30 seconds to a minute, probably be gankable. So it kind of just gives a time frame for reference. It's like like that and right here if we wanted to we can quickly dismount the fled we can get a gank off and kill him he's very overextended main things we got to dismount him real quick oh ah, honestly yeah with the way he backed up already so getting his ult is pretty good as well and we got the dismount i hoping Olaf would do more for me there but fine. Throwing him a little bit how about this bot with 31 cs so gonna get some deep vision we we'll wait for the scuttle to spawn anyway maybe get some camps Put one right there, and one right there. So this is why I like getting the trinkets. He is always good. She didn't farm her bot side camps, yeah, that's what she didn't do. See the wave state. So see, this is the bounce back I was talking about, but I uh, actually opted to help out top a little bit instead. Oh. I'm gonna look for the gank mid here. One. Once I hit the grab, that's all I really need, but I'm gonna go inside of her, otherwise she's gonna look to ult me. That's good. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you always want to know how certain champions kinda are designed to work and flaws, so I guess I can't ult unless there's a target in front of her. Or you know, Swain's kind of from afar, but she's not gonna ult on Swain because it's just death no matter what. She couldn't ult away from me because I went inside of her immediately. So Food for thought if you're ever in that situation. You're very tactical with your abilities. Some people would say, oh, well, you didn't need to use your ult, you had enough damage. Well, no, if she ulted, I wouldn't have enough damage because her burst shield, so. Make things a little bit tough. Right now, bot lane. See, they're in a really bad state and they're overstaying, so if they stay any longer, I could just look for the dive on them. I like the elite time to pressure. Whenever you can find a dive, it's so good. Oh, hello, Bilba. Oh, they are backed up. I'm gonna wait for the damage reduction and I'm gonna walk forward here. Nice, perfect. Yeah, so this is why it's very important to just understand your force spikes. So having the XP advantage and then having the item advantage, you can quiver to hit a Dirk Longsword. Also the first strike proc, the red buff. There's so many things to factor in. Oh, I used my Q, I wasn't quick enough. You notice how much Long, how much longer it takes when you use your Q. Yeah, probably just farm blue. At this point, I'm not really all about um, I'm an efficiency. I'm really just trying to clear my camps and look for plays because I have such a large advantage and every lane has potential to be played off of because uh, Kled, his ult should be coming up very soon, but not right now. Uh, Belveth has no flash. Isa getting out traded a lot in the bot lane. Obviously, MS no flash. So just things like that to take into consideration. Right now, I think one of the most important things is that Velvet's kit is really centered around getting that, um... Yeah, getting the rift, so here she is. My whole goal here is to get her to use her damage reduction. She didn't use it. I just go for the heal. I think she can win this, but... I'm actually just baiting it really hard. Yeah, I just wait out the damage reduction and... Oh! Aw, oh, she hit the vision plant. I'm so sad. Whenever they invest a lot like that, it's pretty, like, important to go and, like, back mid and get a free gank off. Especially with an AD carry in mid lane, it's pretty free. Swain hits anything, easy gank. Alrighty, boys and girls. Here's what I call a Charisma special. 
If I lose this game, I'll get 20 subs. If you guys want a chance to win a free sub, type 20 in the chat. I'm very confident in the position that I'm in. Because the whole premise of what I like to teach is how to 1v9. So even if like people ant or troll or creep, I still usually am able to 1v9. Whole ideology behind my playstyle. Why my IGN was Karis my V9 for so long. Alright, we're gonna wait for the shove in. Now look for this. I should look for this. Oh, come on. We both went straight to the rift. Maybe our bot sets up. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Pretty squishy if she doesn't get her damage reduction off, so I can make maybe nuke her if she comes there and jung. I had to fight her and then get out real quick because what's her name's gonna come? Kaisa. Oh, there you go. Objective. This is where we wanna fight. Oh my god, look at that. I got the kill trade, I didn't get the objective though. Re losing lanes, this is perfect. Actually, I think bot lane's not losing. Re losing lanes, not bad. Oh, that's on her blue. Took all of her bot side and get my bot side, then look over my top side. I might take my wolves and gromp though. The ever top laners really ahead is kind of what they do. I'll probably skip out on Krogs and just hover that area. That way I can. Kind of salvage a camp or two. You look for the top skittle after. Just way higher value to look up here. The so Yumu's over Eclipse. I'm playing in one shot. I'm not playing to like cool people. Eclipse is for like coolers. If I wanted to duel, I would play Red Cane. And Red Cane doesn't even build Eclipse because the item's just understated. Oh, nice. Bad. There. Oh. I got a ult inside of him. Yeah, if he gets one more auto off, he actually would be able to. Remount and kill me. And there's one of the shutdowns. That's usually how you want a 1v9 game. It's always like, kind of like a bounty hunter. You always want to look for those shutdowns. Use her uh, damage reduction ability. There you go. Yep. Yeah, That's why I bought that early long sword with Peach's Market early. That old probably bought, yeah. Maybe come. I would really like to dismantle his early game. That's the advantage the man had. Oh, they got one, but good. Uh, unlock. I'm gonna play the CS my camps. Now, Bobo, it's actually not a good matchup at all for Blue King because of her damage reduction. So, even though I have a mass advantage, I can't be as, like, aggressive as I want. This is just understanding matchups. Understanding matchups is a huge key way to climb in League. Understanding a lot about your champ and their champ. That's where watching and playing comes in hand. So, if you're watching right now, put yourself in the back. You're doing yourself some justice. Turn, turn a thing or two. Kill this guy if he wants. Damn though. Yeah. I think I can get this minion kill here so I get level 11. Oh. Oh man, he just died. Oh my god, what? Okay, she's on it. 
Yeah, they just have to stall it. Yeah, I do have a stronger smite than her as well. Okay, cool. So if they go for it, I could probably steal it. Wow, they rush it fast. Oh, I'm coming. Ow, oh, they're leashing for her. To stop damaging it. Nice. Not bad, given that dragon. She's really on her own. Yeah, whenever they like overexert themselves like this, it's just uh, I. See how quickly you can just like pick up kills and whatnot. It's the power of Yumu's boys. Yumu's is quite wild. Once you learn how to use it properly, it goes a nutty nut. We're probably gonna try and take my top set. I gotta head over. Ooh, I'm coming. I might have got the drop. At least I got the wolves. Oh, that's probably on the rift right now. I can scope it out. Yeah, it was. So that means I didn't lose my drop. That's good. I need to use my ult there. She's just dead. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, whenever I'm at the point where I can like actually kill them and fight them without having to use my ult, that's when you're crazy ahead. Because that means you can just stay on the map longer and longer. And notice how I stay on the map pretty long here. So now I'm able to get an immune. And you get another power spike, then you stack that. So the longer you stay on the map, the more XP you get. The more XP you get, you know, the more stats you get, higher damage, higher HP, yada, yada, yada. So stay on the map longer is usually smart and I usually only stay until I have my next item I'll try and reset or if something big's coming up like an objective or whatnot or if there's nothing to do on the map there's no camps to farm nothing if I have to like cross the map from one side to another like blue all the way down to Krugs not worth it. Let this guy tank. Oh, it didn't even tank for me. It tanked one auto and then stops. Huh. Right, killing me. Looking for an early hit or something? Not a good idea. It just means more farm for us. Now we're gonna look for this guy. That's why awareness on the map is so key. Let's see, I could pop his mount him with W and then just kill him. Oh, I hope he takes this. This means more farm and XP for us. And it shuts down. Nice. Yeah, especially since it's the top end, so Top is where Baron is, so normally you're gonna have someone around top. You're gonna have someone pushing top. <laughs> it's like, you know, you're gonna have that, right? No, it's just free gold, free XP. That's why I'm taking like inhibs early. You have to have like a plan in order with it. I'll probably like to fight them real quick and then go top. Yeah, when you're this side, you can just pull something like that. Now we look for you. Nice. 
to get my ult off on the inside the Lux. Fast enough to dodge that. Oh, good though. We'll just keep going mid. If we take the mid and hit, that's chill. Nice. Not bad, not bad. They have a bite Lux. <laughs> By the way, if this was Scare Smite, we would unironically win this game. Nice runs up on I me right now. Power. I'll back up. MTK for us. Thanks to Risa, man. Yeah, I knew she was going to shoot that ability trying to ult me. I don't even think she had her ult, but you know, good to dodge that. Oh, it's coming into her jungle, and she probably is going to look for blue, so if I want a one-shot her, I could. But I just got to make sure that I'm using my vision advantage. She doesn't get her damage reduction off. Okay. Farm top. I was going to wait for it to shove in some more, but Olaf wanted to go farm it for whatever reason. Adios. Ay, ay, ay. You don't want to let me reset, huh? <laughs> it's not. I suppose not. Alrighty. I'm going to get a massive reset here. Probably get some life insurance as well. Normally, whenever you have enough gold for BF Sword and or Stopwatch, you choose the Stopwatch. You usually want to choose that Stopwatch, boys. All right, we're going to kill Kled. He's the strong sideliner, so just pick him off and then force the objective. Chill. For how ahead we are, I don't even need to use our, uh, what do we call it, whole team. And now we just go send someone else to my ult. Lux is over here. How fast am I? Damn fast, I'd say. Oh. Okay. Well, that just ended mid here. I don't even need to use my flash. Perfect. I just end mid. Cool. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, hope you boys enjoyed the Blue King game. Sorry, no 20 subs Twitch chat, but... At least you get to see my new form. You guys ready for this? Gold Cane! <laughs> GG. Nice.